So if you're wanting to start making music using your Mega Drive and you have Gen NDM or Genajam, um, you might be wondering uh, how they all plug together and why they're separate devices. I think the easiest place to start might be just to go through some history behind Gen MDM and then why I made Genajam. In early 2018, an amazing chiptune musician and programmer by the name of Little Scale developed and self-released a MIDI interface for the Sega Mega Drive. This interface was called Gen MDM. Gen MDM is amazing as it accesses all 300 parameters of the FM synthesizer chip via MIDI CC using an Ableton plugin. So what is Gen MDM? Gen MDM is two things. It's a cartridge and it's a tiny little dongle that plugs into the controller port. And what it does is this runs some custom code on the Mega Drive and this lets you send MIDI straight to the Mega Drive and then you can use your Mega Drive as a musical instrument. So if you buy a, a Gen MDM pack off Catskull Electronics, what you'll get is you'll get a cartridge, you'll get a dongle, and you'll get a MIDI input. So the way that you plug this in is uh, cartridge goes in the cartridge slot, the dongle goes in slot B, so you can see the cat facing you. You have two inputs on the front. You have uh, a full-size MIDI input that plugs into the 3.5 jack on the side. And you also have USB-C, which is class compliant MIDI input. So if you want to plug a MIDI straight into your computer using USB, you can plug it in here. By plugging MIDI into your Mega Drive like this, you'll turn the Mega Drive on and you'll hear the startup sound. This is the tone letting you know it's all working properly. And if you have a MIDI device plugged into channel one, you should be able to play mono notes. And note this is only mono, so you're only playing channel one out of the um, YM2612 chip. So you might have noticed that Gen MDM doesn't have an interface. Uh, if you plug your Mega Drive into a screen, you'll just get a black screen. There's no um, way to edit uh, without using that Ableton plugin. So basically, if you don't use Ableton, it can be quite a tricky device to wrangle, um, to load patches, to, to change and edit settings. Um, you need to rely on those 300 MIDI CC messages. Um, so what I did was I decided to make a custom MIDI controller specifically for Gen MDM. So the interface, um, the controls were completely based around um, how Gen MDM works. So Genajam was born. This is the prototype device that I made initially. Um, this was just for myself, just so I could um, play around with the Mega Drive. But I sent it on to Catskull Electronics, who currently manufactures um, Gen MDM, and they really loved it. They said, let's make this into a, a, an actual device that uh, everyone can use and buy. And so Genajam was born. We've got our Gen MDM plugged in. We went through how it works. So now we'll go through um, how to plug in Genajam and what it does exactly. So Genajam goes in between the MIDI input and Gen MDM. So you unplug the MIDI input and plug it into Genajam. And then you go out of Genajam back into Gen MDM. And then we can boot everything up. The order in which you boot stuff up is important. So um, Gen MDM, when you turn it on, you'll hear the Mega Drive booting and you'll hear the noise. Quang. So that noise means that Gen MDM is running and active and has access to the sound chip. Then if you turn on Gen Jam after that noise, you will have heard the tone change slightly, and that means that Genajam has now sent MIDI CC messages to uh, Gen MDM. So changing patches will send 300 MIDI CC messages across to Gen MDM, replacing all of the settings on all six channels all at once. So every time you change a patch, that's what it's doing. It's sending 300 MIDI CC messages across. Um, to change all of the channels all at once. And this is so now, before we were playing in mono, but now we can play in poly. Or 
all six notes and all six channels have the exact same settings on them. New to the new firmware, if you want to change the MIDI channel or the region of Gen MDM, it's pretty straightforward. Just um, unplug Gen MDM, hold down the select edit button, boot it up, and it'll take you to the boot menu where you can pick a MIDI channel. Uh, so we'll leave it as one and you can pick your region as well, NTSC or PAL. Uh, I think this one is PAL, so I'll leave that and then just push any one of these buttons and it'll save the settings to the EEPROM. So if you are having any issues with Gen Jam or Gen MDM, um, just leave a comment below. I'll try and help as much as I can. Also, Catskull Electronics, you know, can help you out. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you next time.